Hello coders. So in this video we are going to discuss creating and testing microservices by using Spring. So in this uh, video we will uh, create a Spring uh, boot application which will be having a controller. The controller will be accepting the input or request from the client and as well as it will be providing output or response to the client. The client might be providing the request by using get or post. But we may not have the proper client ready while we are developing any microservice because the client might be created by the developing team which will be responsible for developing the user interfaces. But the backend developers who are going to develop the microservices, they are going to be responsible for developing the business logic. So while the business logic is being developed, you have to test it also. Is it working or not? So for that, we go for using Postman, which is an application of HTTP web service. For any type of REST web service, we can go for using it. It's a free application. We can download it for any type of uh, operating system. It is available for Mac, for Windows, for any other uh, operating system. It's free. You just need to provide your Google ID while you are downloading it. So we will be developing a simple uh, application for accepting text or might be a JSON. So how the microservice look like? Here I am I am trying to uh, trying to explain with the help of this diagram. The microservice might be existing or generally the microservice which you are going to create that is going to be an independent application that is going to be a web application which will have different uh, endpoints or URL for uh, giving the JSON or XML or text. The endpoints can be accessed by, uh, by using different types of clients might be a mobile client or by using Android or iOS or any other uh, operating system. It might be a normal uh, web client. It might be another uh, microservice also or as I said, we may go for testing it with the help of another client called as Postman. The Postman or any client will be sending the request with the help of GET or POST or PUT. With the help of GET or POST or PUT, it will also send the data. Data can be sent with the help of request param. So let us have a look at a simple uh, microservice with the help of STS, I have created a application, a Spring Boot application I can say, that is what uh, is named as loan service. So loan service is going to have a class called as account. The account is a very ordinary class. It has two variables inside this account class. One is a integer type, another is a long type. Both are having the setter getter methods and here is a controller I have created that is not an ordinary controller or ordinary class, it is a REST controller. The REST controller is a annotation which is available from Spring 4.0 onwards which will provide the RESTful web service and uh, as well as it can provide um, view like any ordinary controller we were using prior to the Spring 4.0. So this REST controller is going to give us the facility of sending the JSON or text or XML with the help of the method which we will define and each method will have a endpoint. So here this method which you have created as validate, it has the endpoint as login. And this method what it does, it has the business logic to accept two arguments as the request param, art request param is the 
annotation for accepting the parameter so the parameter name is going to be uid and the second parameter name is going to be pass since we have not mentioned it is going to be optional or mandatory so by default it is going to be mandatory we can make the uh, parameter request parameters are optional also by using required false with this request param but since we are going to accept user id and password which generally it is required so we will keep this as mandatory and here inside it i have gone for a very start, uh, basic uh, logic i have gone for comparing the uid with uh, a piece of text uh, static comparison you can say with the admin and pass uh, with the 1 2 3 4 if the condition matches then it returns the welcome with the user id or uid whatever is provided and if doesn't match then it going to provide another piece of text as invalid credential the next i have gone for creating another uh, method which will have another uh, different uh, endpoint as all account it doesn't have this kind of method and the value all these are not there over here you can see because by default the method is going to be get so since we don't want to change the method from get to something else so we need not to mention the method as request param dot post all these things which we have mentioned for login that is not required for this uh, let me make it uh, full screen yes so here the all account is going to be the next or second uh, endpoint which will create a list of account class and in this loop i have gone for creating a uh, five objects of account that is what uh, the account class is initialized by using setter method methods i am providing the account number and amount the account number is being added with uh, 1000 and i the value of i the value of i is going to be from 0 to 5 and amount is going to be again the value of i plus 100 into a number i have multiplied with it then that um, account class object is going to be added with that list and that list is going to be written back as the return type of this uh, get all account is list so we return the all account as the return value so this is the simple uh, controller i have created with two endpoints to test this application we need to run it and go for so here so i have started this uh, application it should start from 8080 port number so here you can see it has started in 8080 and now i am going to this postman when you install postman in the initial state the postman is going to be like this so history section is going to be empty and we can call the endpoints by using the url so localhost is the ip and port number is 8080 and first we are going to use login and here is the type of the request we are going to put get post put all these things are there i will be using post because that uh, login is having let us have a look at the method again here the login is having the request method as post and it accepts uid and pass as the two arguments or two request param so for that the post i have chosen from the drop down and the url i have provided as localhost colon 8080 slash login then body i have to click on the form data i have to create this uh, request param so uid is the request param first uid first uh, request param is a uid admin is the value and second is the pass and value is the 1 2 3 4 if everything goes right we should get the welcome message yes you can see so here is the 
welcome admin because admin is the uid we have provided if we will provide something else as the password then on send we should get invalid credential that is what is by using the post method we are sending the user id or uid and pass and if you want to test the second uh, endpoint or second uh, uh, url for finding the accounts so for that we have defined in our controller all account so all account is going to be a get type all account is a get type of request so i need not to change it it doesn't uh, accept any parameter so simply i will send it so here you can see i accept or i got this five different uh, objects or of json this is json r8 it has it has created so first object is uh, account number containing 1000 and amount something 1000 into maybe 2 lakhs uh, like this second object third object fourth object five objects i got so an array of json i got as the response from the endpoint known as all account so this is how we can go for using any web service you can create the web service and as well as you can go for testing it so let us stage we will announce this type of web service with the dynamism with the help of spring data jpa with the database uh, connection so that's all about uh, this video thanks for watching